Most people have absolutely terrible form on dumbbell fly movements. Regardless if you're using the standard flat bench, incline, or decline variation, there's one specific technique you must use to keep the tension on the pecs and off of the shoulders while keeping your joints and rotator cuffs safe. And that is leading with the elbows and not the dumbbells. Go to any gym and watch the average person perform a dumbbell fly. You'll likely see a completely straight arm with the elbows fully locked out, leading the movement with the dumbbell. This not only takes the tension off the chest, but places a huge amount of strain on the much weaker rotator cuffs. Now, by bending at the elbow and keeping the arm in the fixed position and bringing the elbows back as far as you can safely, you want to focus on fully stretching the pecs. From that position, leading with the elbows, you want to bring the arms back across the body to fully engage the pecs. Lead with the elbows, focus on the pecs, and keep the shoulder and joints happy 